Jim and Vivian say they never forgot one another after all of these years. You look at them today, it looks like they were never apart. After all these years, you got to see this high school sweetheart. I said, <laughs> oh, yes, not only see him, but this man came back after about 50 years and asked me to marry him. <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> you know that made me feel good. <laughs> hey, Bill, I never stopped uh, loving her, Bill. After all my 35 years in broadcasting and met so many people along the way, I never stopped loving Vivian. Jim and Vivian seen here in their high school days say they lost touch when Jim went back to New Jersey to help care for his sick mother. They wouldn't see each other again for 50 years. After retiring from a career in radio and induction into the National Black Radio Hall of Fame and a place in the Marquis' Who's Who, Jim asked a friend to help him find his high school sweetheart. The friend found Vivian's picture on Facebook. <laughs> and I got so excited, Bill. And I said, I, I, I tell you what, I looked at that picture all night long, and I said, Danny, I got to find this lady. Jim then wrote Vivian a letter. Got the letter and read it. And he says, hi, Vivian, let me introduce myself. And on the letter. <laughs> Next came a phone call. And during their first conversation in 50 years, Vivian had a surprise for Jim. I texted him an old photo. And he said, well, I know that's you. He says, who is the baby? I said, well, think about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Jim learned he was a father and a grandfather. Jim, I can't imagine what that must be like. And you oh, share. Oh, man, I tell you, Bill, I, I, I don't have, I was overwhelmed. Next came the family reunion. Jim, Vivian, their daughter, Larice, and two granddaughters, Lorenza and Zoe. The moment I looked at him, I burst into tears. It's emotional now. Vivian. I burst into tears, and uh, he just got up and he hugged me. And I was like, wow. You look just like me. Now you got a whole family built right in. Yeah, you better believe it. I got my <laughs> daughter, my uh, my wife to be, and uh, and my two granddaughters. Oh, this is lovely, man. You couldn't beat it with a licking stick. Uh, <laughs> Jim and Vivian say they hope to get married next spring if the pandemic will allow them. The friend who helped bring them together, Dan McEwen, will be the best man. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.